So if you're studying for the USMLE, how do you figure out whether or not to do your question blocks in tutor mode or in timed mode? So in time mode, think of it like a test mode. That's where you are going to go through a block of, for example, 40 questions and then get all of your answers at the end. Whereas in tutor mode, you get the explanations after you select an answer choice. So I think that there are pros and cons to both. So let's go through them. So make sure to screenshot this because this is my pros and cons list for tutor mode. Pros for tutor mode, you're going to get immediate feedback. As soon as you click the answer, you know whether you got it right or wrong. It's sometimes can actively correct your thought process. I think that tutor mode is good if you're just starting out with the UWorld or AMBOSS question bank just to get a feel of how the questions are written. So here are the cons. Sometimes tutor mode can be psychologically a little bit damaging. I remember getting super nervous. What would be the outcome of a certain answer? I would be in decision paralysis. So sometimes you just overthink the questions and your global block performance in tutor mode is going to be lower. This is kind of the biggest thing. Tutor mode doesn't simulate the exam. One of the core tenants that you need to keep in mind is that the USMLE is a marathon. So you have to practice like you play. It takes a lot of focus, stamina, and strategy to get through a 40 question block and do that at a high accuracy, block to block to block. And that's why tutor mode does not necessarily help with test taking endurance. So what about time mode? Some of the pros is that it mimics the real exam environment. On exam day in the Prometric Center, you're going to be getting 20 to 40 mixed time test mode blocks. So it definitely is going to be as true to the exam as you can be. This is especially true if you are going to be taking your time blocks in a structured setting like the library or setting up your desk like the Prometric Center. Because you're going to be doing a lot of questions in a row, time mode does build stamina and it also improves cognitive switching, especially if you're going to be doing it in a mixed mode where one question is cardio, then you switch to a room question or cardio, then back to a respiratory question, etc. Now time mode can take a little bit longer to review because now let's say you do a 40 question time mode test mode block, you are going to be stuck reviewing all those 40 questions, but make sure to start with the question questions that are going to be incorrect because that will get you what you need to learn from the block much quicker. Also, you may not be able to recall as much from your blocks what your in the moment thought process was, which was an advantage of tutor mode. So if you made it to the end, congratulations. Here's a summary. If you're just starting UWorld or very weak in the content, start with tutor mode. In my opinion, if you are doing time mode and you are getting less than 55% of the questions correct, there may be an egregious content issue and you may need to just do tutor mode while you build the focus connections that are needed in a certain subject, for example, cardio. Now, once you did a few blocks of 40 in tutor mode and you're getting above 55% correct on those tutor mode blocks, shift into time mode, get as many systems under your belt as you can. Some students even group systems like cardiopulmonary renal, but still do it in a time mode. And finally, if you're in dedicated study and you're doing UWorld or AMBOSS, I would highly encourage you to do mixed time test mode because that's what's gonna get your NBMEs week by week by week up. Follow me for more high